Alright, uh, if this is your first time tuning in to Straight Talk with Dr. Shaz the Prophet, appreciate you taking the time to listen to my tape. This is going to be a little longer. I got some previous tapes I put out a little shorter. But I take this into a little more longevity here, so we'll see how that goes and how that records. Not real great at this technology recording things, but we're going to talk today on, uh, uh, and this video will be focusing on uh, the operation of the human being uh, pertaining to its truest existence. And its true ex existence is uh, tripo. Uh, that's in relationship to the uh, body, the soul, and the spirit. And the human being consists of those three elements. And those three elements stay with you throughout your entire life on earth until you die and then you, you, you lose one of those three elements because you lose the third three dimensional world you leave the three dimensional world and then you go into uh, the spirit world and the body as you already know will not go into the spirit world but the body uh, determines, has a lot of to determine uh, your destination in the, in the next life, which is really not a next life. It's really just a continuance of your present life. We just don't see it that way because just like we don't see the spiritual things, we don't utilize our spiritual man. And uh, I'm going to start from the top uh, just so you'll understand, get the clarity. Uh, we don't deal with the spiritual man, but the spiritual man is more real than the physical man. And uh, I'll get a little bit more in detail of that as we move forward in this video. Uh, but I, I'm going to reflect back on that that would be the last because that's the most important uh, but I'm going to bounce back to flesh the body um, and I don't have to break down what the body consists of because you already know that but we do know that the body is uh, going to operate in the elements of the senses which is, you know, sight, ear, smell, touch, taste, mostly the five senses. And that's how the body operates. And without those senses, it's very difficult for the body to operate because they, they control our, our, our feelings and our emotions and our life. And the truth, the truth be told, they should not control our life. And it wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be like that in the beginning. Uh, when God created man, uh, he, didn't, he created it, man in his image. And he did not create us to die. That's the first thing about it. People don't think that way in the Bible. People don't think the Bible says that, but it was clear that when he ate from the tree and Satan said, this is according to the Bible, that, no, she said, we can't eat from that because we'll die. And he said, no, you won't die. No, you'll just be given uh, understanding. You'll be as a God. And so he told her half truth that you would be more as God. You'd be. And that's what happened by eating from the tree of knowledge. The tree of knowledge really represented knowing all things, knowing everything you need to know on the earth, being able to learn all the things you need to learn on earth. And 
that's what that was that's what the tree of knowledge really represented uh, man understanding being like God being more like God and so and that's what happened but yeah we did die we don't she didn't die right away and neither do we die right away now but we eventually will die um, in the flesh and the flesh wasn't designed for us to really really die that's why back in the, in, in, in the day back in the day man could live to be almost a thousand years old you know now you can't live to be over 24 God never uh, he, he really wanted us to continue to to uh, live on the earth for a long time the earth was created as a project for God for us to really be in, his, in existence uh, as an individual a long time and I don't know Anybody can know how long of a time that was going to be. But his intentions was for us to live a long time. But because of the sin of the body, then we cease to exist. But, and that sin made us uh, focus on the body so much. So everything uh, that we do, everything that we desire, everything we want, uh, has to do with the body. So nothing that we do on earth pretty much besides the things we do for God um, has anything to do uh, with anything but the operations of mankind. And it's the silly things in the world and the, the, the less valuable things in the world that we enjoy the most. That's weird, but it is. And that has to do with emotions. You know. So you need to uh, begin to understand that the body is very, very limited uh, in its uh, in its uh, reasoning with wisdom. It's very limited, and it's only limited because we we tend we it's earthly wisdom you may obtain, but that's still the world, the stuff of the world that you may be gifted. In. Uh, but the biggest thing uh, in relationship uh, to our body is that we don't tend to, to deal with the other services in the body so we're limited because we won't go past the flesh we won't go we won't go beyond the operations of the flesh and the flesh is foolish the flesh does a whole lot of naive and ignorant things um, and therefore um, we bring ourselves to do self-damage and self-destruction. The last message I had mentioned, the last video I had mentioned uh, about the world uh, becoming much more dangerous because of technology and things that has taken place and, and the knowledge of people are, is growing so strong and so wide knowledge, not God knowledge, but man's knowledge to where it's, it's going to self-destruct and uh, predict, prophesy for 2040 you know, uh, things will be dramatic, changed to such a degree there won't, won't be a whole lot of need for more to great buildings and things of that nature, and you can kind of see that taking place now to some degree just by the pandemic uh, it's going to be far worse uh, it's going to eliminate a lot of the operation of the body of Christ as well as it's known as it's, it's formal operation so with that being said uh, I want you to, to know that there is an answer uh, to the destruction of you 
as an individual. You don't have to be destroyed. Yeah, your body will cease to exist no matter what, but you don't have to be destroyed. But you will, you will die, of course. You know that. But now, you have to learn the body. You have to, you have to understand the body and, and put the body under submission. What I mean by that is you need to, you need to be obedient to uh, your soul man and your spirit man, which we'll get into a little later in this video. Got to become obedient. Got to be. Got to turn, turn uh, the body around and uh, refrain from the desires of the flesh. And and that's all of it. Now I understand that our drive comes from that, so it's kind of hard to do that. It's kind of hard to live in the world and not uh, love the world and not strive to have uh, the things of the world. Uh, and you can have the things of the world, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if it becomes, if it holds you and you don't hold it, then that's a problem. If it possesses you and you don't possess it, that's a problem. And the majority of people, the world possesses you, you don't possess the world. And that's, that's where the fleshly operations uh, destroy you. So, I'm going to touch, I might bounce back to the flesh, but I'm going to touch on the soul. What is the soul? So, why should we be that concerned about the soul? Well, you're, the flesh doesn't determine your identity and it never will. I don't care whether you're black, white, yellow, whatever, nationality, wherever you come from, uh, we all are the same in the flesh. We, we all, we're, the funny thing about the flesh is that we're all the same, same in the flesh. We're not different. We have different colors, and different shades and all that stuff. But, um, uh, it's been proven that you can take a, a heart from an individual and put it in another individual, no matter what race they are. So when you go and get blood in the hospital, that blood is coming from every particular race. So racism is foolish because when you go in and you need blood, you, and you get hurt and you need somebody to put some blood in you, you're getting blood from anywhere as long as it's your tight blood. Now there is a tight blood that gives us, that's why the blood, <laughs> It's much more in, intense than the whole body. Because there's, there's life in the blood. Uh, and that's where life really exists. It doesn't exist in anything else but the blood. So, the soul is this. The soul is your, your identity in relationship to who you really are. Now, how does that, how do you define that? Well, because we're not any different, you know, we, we have different names and all that, and we, different race and whatever we want to say, but in our soul, you can't see a person's soul. You can't touch a person's soul, and you do not know much about a person's soul. But your soul is the one thing that will live for eternity. So that's the strongest sense of the soul is that it doesn't cease to exist. Like the body will die and turn back to dust on the earth and will cease to exist. Even your bones will deteriorate over time. Uh, nothing, I mean, you put chemicals in for it to last a long time, but chemicals weren't people weren't being a bomb, they, you know, they deteriorated a whole lot quicker. But uh, your soul will continue to be here. So the objective is your soul will have to answer for a lot of things. And it'll answer mostly for your flesh. And 
the operations of your, your spirit man. Uh, even though you're not aware as much of your spirit man, but it's going to answer. It's going to answer for your operations of the flesh and the operations of the spirit, because the spirit there's a spiritual world which makes you a spiritual being. We just don't live in that dimension. We don't live in the spiritual dimension. And we can't move into the spiritual dimension. We can only trust and believe in it. But the soul is what makes me different from you and you different from me. Uh, the soul will be the one thing that uh, will continue to feel the things uh, of the flesh, not in not in the sense of uh, what you may think, but in the sense of reality, in the sense of pain, in the sense of feelings, uh, knowing. Uh, the soul will continue to know when the brain, which the brain will die. The soul is is what I would say uh, the the strong, the more profound sense of the brain, the spiritual sense of the brain. You might say it's in the spiritual world. It's where the thoughts lie in the spiritual world. Your soul is your the entity that will continue to be accountable for everything. It will continue to be accountable for everything in the soul. So uh, I want to make that clear to you. And then the spiritual world. And I'm going to kind of try to wrap it up on the spiritual world and maybe come back to this later on because it gets a little bit more intense. But because the spirit, because God is a spirit, and they that serve him must serve him in spirit and truth. And that's really how we're supposed to live our life on the earth is spirit and truth. We're supposed to depend on the spirit of God and link our spirit, because you have a spirit that will also live for eternity. Another thing you need to know about the soul, the soul is... Uh, because the soul is uh, houses the spirit, uh, the spirit is useful uh, mostly on the earth. I don't know how useful it'll be in heaven, even though you're a spirit man. Your soul will exist in heaven. You'll be a spirit, but you already are that spirit, so I don't know how different you'll be. I don't really believe you'll be much different than you are as a spirit man here. It's just that we don't know how to tap into the spirit man. The closer you build a relationship with God, the closer you understand your spirit. The closer you become or the more uh, profound you become with God's spirit, the more you'll understand your own spirit. See, God is... Uh, the Spirit of God is the Holy Spirit, and that Spirit is the one Spirit that can show your Spirit, can link with your Spirit, because it's just Spirit's linking, that takes your soul uh, to the level, or takes your man, your, your physical man, to the level of understanding the value of the soul. So, it kind of works back and forth a lot all three of those because you can't get away from all three of them in the flesh they're gonna they're gonna always exist and they're gonna always continue to uh, be a part of you in life so you need to uh, be very very uh, sensitive to the operations of the soul man and to do that, you have to submit your spirit man to the spirit of God. And that's not easy to do. 
So if you begin to submit your spirit man to the spirit of God, then you will take uh, your body, even your body, you will take your body to a level that brings you into uh, submission to the will of God. And the funny thing about it, people think God's will is all that complicated, but God's will is not complicated. God's will is extremely uh, easy to uh, submit to. It's just that we are so, we're so wrapped up in our, um, our physical needs of the world and our lusts and our desires of the flesh, uh, we just do not want to uh, submit to the will of God because we don't want to focus on the spirit because it's, it's, not, it's, it's not that it's not fun. We just don't want to believe that that's the controlling element to us. We want to believe that our controlling element is the flesh, is the flesh. The, the, the flesh and that the flesh is the most important thing. Um, but it's not. Your soul is the most important thing. And people have been saying soul for a long time. Now soul has, has came out of the equation. People don't talk about soul as much. And they don't deal with the soul as much. They really want to focus on either the flesh and they speak about the spirit a lot people the whole world is into the spirit i mean you don't have to be saved to be into the spirit they, they just be into all kinds of spirits and that's true there is all types of spirit the spirit ram has a, a a great amount especially on earth a great amount of demonic spirits because the demonic spirits was cast on the earth so that's the reason why Really focusing on the spirit is, is not the answer because there's just too many spirits and we don't even have the understanding to, uh, to challenge the spirit world. We don't have the understanding because we don't, we so hung up on the flesh and the flesh can't challenge the spirit world. But guess what? The spirit world also cannot really challenge the flesh world. Uh, it, it manipulates the flesh, but it can't really challenge the flesh because it hasn't been given authority over the flesh. God does, has never given the spirit ram authority over the flesh. He's only allowed the spirit, the spirit, the demonic spirits to, to, to resign here on earth. He, he did not allow them to uh, control man or to take over man. Actually, it's the opposite. We control the spirit ram. We have, we just don't understand it, so we don't operate in it. But we have authority over it. But there's only one way to have authority over the spirit ram, and that is to link up with the Holy Spirit. If you link with your spirit to the Holy Spirit, and that is the only way that you will have complete control over the spirit ram, is for you to link up your spirit with the Holy Spirit. Now, like I said, no matter what, though, the spirit, the demonic spirit ram, and even God's spirit, he won't interfere with your man. He won't interfere. He won't even interfere with your spirit. He'll let your spirit run rapid and do whatever your spirit wants to do. Uh, and he'll also let your flesh run rapid and do whatever your flesh wants to do. Your soul, on the, on the other hand, is not under your control or under... Uh, the spirit's control. It's 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 kind of like a data. You know, everything has a data piece. It's the data chip that that houses everything. It houses every all the operations of everything. And you don't have much use for it except its accountability. It's going to give accountability of everything. Uh, it's your identity. It's uh, your code of your your of who you are and as simple as that and your spirit man and your fleshly man uh will give account of everything 
and to, to, to put this and lock it up in a nutshell, you know, the, the, the most serious aspect of it, more so than anything, is your final destination. And it's your soul that's going to have a final destination. And it's always been that way. And it's funny how the world has has matured, but yet they left the foundation behind. Uh, we used to talk about the soul when we were younger. You know, your soul, you know, you need to get your soul right before the Lord. And, and we used to focus on the soul more, but now we don't focus on the soul. It's all focusing on the spirit. And the funny thing about it, it's the soul that's going to, going to have its final destination. It's the soul that's going to know what's everything that's going on. God has given the soul uh, the channel to to know everything, to be, to be aware of everything, but we don't use the soul. Uh, it's not useful. The soul's not really useful on earth, but you need to understand uh, the, the reason behind it. It's the spirit man that is useful on the earth you could still utilize your spirit and most people when they get involved in spiritual things they get involved with inappropriate spiritual things because they don't know that they need the spirit of god to not deal with un, uh you know familiar spirits and crazy spirits and weird spirits out there all right i'm gonna close this out i'll probably do a, a second part of this because there's some things that i'm not able to cover right now uh, in relationship to the body, the soul, and the spirit. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, if this was uh, enlightening to you or gave you some sense of understanding, then give me a like. Uh, I want to do, I want to give to the world uh, the revelation as a prophet of God. And and give that to you as God continues to uh, provide revelation to me as he has done uh, for so many of my years. Uh, but this is the closest I've ever gotten to uh, bringing that revelation forth. Um, and I think this is this is the timing for it. I don't think any other timing was, was the timing for it. This is the timing for it. And it's so important right now for people to know the real operations of God's will because man had been doing man's will in the name of God uh, for so long. And it's, it's time for people to raise up and do God's will and not by the traditional ways that it's been done, but the way that God is has uh, approved in the way that God has always uh, desired it to be done, his will. But it takes those to submit to the Holy Spirit, begin to do God's will. So uh, give me a like. And if you would, please subscribe so you can follow up all these the videos that I'm going to begin to do. And I, I, I apologize if it's lame in relationship to the technology I'm, i can't I, I can't get into that right now i just got to step into uh making you aware and bringing that you know to people and uh encouraging people and strengthening people uh because the world's gonna get much more complicated anyway okay this is dr chaz with straight talk the prophet and i appreciate you uh, and above everything i want you all to uh, constantly uh, seek to do better uh, and doing that you'll be blessed